Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. We have a really exciting week today because we are gonna take our new release FT Millennium Flurkin and we're gonna fly it through a fire tornado. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the FT Flurkin, it is an amazing and functional forward swept wing design. And as we mentioned earlier, we have many different versions, all suiting different flight characteristics and different flight styles. The newest version that we're releasing as of today is gonna to be our FT Millennium Flurkin Race Edition. Just as the name implies, this is gonna be incredibly fast, incredibly maneuverable, and an amazing FPV experience. Wesley is getting our ground station and our TVs ready, ultimately for the B-17, but we're going to be able to go to EcoFlow Pavilion and watch the FPV feed to test it out and see how good it is. We have a lot of work to do. Let's get started. All right, brother, how's this going? Good so far. Uh, I've got the modules all wired up and all the hardware to mount them to the board already on there. The sockets look amazing. Now this is really cool here because ultimately this is going to give us the ability, like we mentioned before, to be able to have TVs mounted, uh, mainly for our B-17, FPV races, things like that, up at EcoFlow Pavilion. Uh, but also, this is something you guys can do. Yeah, so uh, just using some free online software, I was able to draw the PCBs up, uh, just using off-the-shelf components, uh, and then soldered it all together. Now we're able to mount all of our receivers onto here. So that way, instead of having a bunch of little receivers everywhere and little wires going everywhere, we just have to perfect. And we got these boards incredibly quick. PCB way has been fantastic to work with. Now here's a really cool thing here. Wes, you're gonna finalize this, get it all tight and right? Yeah, once we get all the little bugs worked out of it. Yep, and once we have that done, we're gonna put it on PCB way sharing platform so you can go there. If you wanna make your own grass station, you'll be able to go there, get this very board, get it from PCB way, you're in business. All right, so I'm going to get the uh, finish getting components soldered to this board and testing them all out. And David's actually uh, working on getting the TVs mounted to the uh, panels. Can't wait, man. So what are you up to, Dave? I am currently trying to mount some TVs on wood, so that way we can uh, mount these underneath of our pavilion up on top of the hill for EcoFlow. Nice. And if everything goes right, we'll get these TVs hung up. Wes will get the ground stations hooked up. And we'll have TVs all the time up at uh, our pavilion at EcoPro. All right, so one of the key things that makes the Nano Flurkin and the Race Flurkin uh, similar but different here is we put a spar in the Race Flurkin. And what a spar does is it gives the wing rigidity so it doesn't fall under pressure. Now the beta one that we've been tested with actually doesn't even have a spar. It has a spacer for the foam here and a spacer on the other side just to give it the taper of the wing that I want. Uh, and from that point I was able to test fly it to see what we uh, had. I did some crazy G's on the one without the spar and it held together great, but we want to make sure that this is really strong. So what I have here is I have a spar running all the way from the tip to the root and then coming in and if you look down in the center here, you'll see how it actually interlocks with the two vertical plates. So what I did this morning is you can see that we have some area here, there's some surface area that we really want to have that spar glued down to and also where the spar punches through the vertical plates. Took those measurements, put them in the design. And this is a common thing of what we do. We don't just build one, fly it, crash it, and then go back and try to change designs. As we find things like this that need to be changed, we go ahead and change them on the fly. Oftentimes when we do a design, even if it's a resize of an existing model, uh, we'll oftentimes make three, four, up to even 10 different models flying and making sure they're absolutely perfect. I'm really excited about the spar here because with the extra speed this is gonna have, the load it's gonna be carrying, I don't think this wing is going anywhere. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the new Caddx amp that we carry here. This is a 1200 TV line camera and it also does really good in moderate to low light. So I'm going to be putting this on and because we're going to be flying close around here, we don't need to have a very large system in here which saves on weight. So Dave designed a really awesome flexible mount here made out of TPU and this will hold the Insta360 GO 2. One of the reasons we really love the Insta360 GO 2 specifically on the Flurkin line is it has a beautiful stabilization. So although this flies incredibly smooth, what you're gonna get as a finished puck when you watch it back is gonna be absolute butter. This mount will work with this race Flurkin, but also with our classic Flurkin as well. We're gonna go ahead and take this up, put it up for a maiden, make sure all the systems are working, and then we're gonna head up to EcoFlow Runway and start building our fire. Tonight we're going to be flying through a fire tornado. I got the race flurkin all set up with FPV. I got my little caddis ant on the bottom and also my Insta360 Go 2 here. Uh, I'm just going to put this up for a quick flight, make sure everything works before tonight because I don't know how many times we're going to be able to fly through fire. <laughs> so if anyone wonders if it's fast, And this is just three cell power.
So a good idea, whenever you have an FPV setup, have a buddy basically check out your playground while you fly line of sight. Crystal clear? Beautiful. Awesome. And we're just running Omnis, you said? Yeah, I'm running two just rubber duck whip antennas. Ready for this? Holy cow, that is fat. <laughs> wow, that so what we're gonna do here is once we're done flying this, we're gonna go ahead and take the Insta360 Go 2 and make sure the footage works good. We want everything working for us so when we put this through the fire, we can record at many different angles. There we go. All good. So friends, this is Pilot Institute here. This is a multi-purpose building that is really near and dear into our hearts, thanks to Pilot Institute making it happen here. This is where we can build huge projects, have STEM activities, have whoop races, and also, we got a paint room in the back, and this is gonna be the first thing getting painted, and after that, we got our B-17. Okay. So our large Flurkin had a really cool black scheme with orange here, and there's been lots of really great schemes from our community here. I think what I'm gonna do tonight, is I'm gonna go with some dun metal gray here, some flat primer, and I'm gonna accent it with a bright pop and orange. All right, so we got our brand new race lurking here. We are on an EcoFlow runway, and behind us is a fire pit. And around that fire pit, what do we got? We got a bunch of fans that we're gonna try to make a fire tornado. And then we're gonna fly through it. Now, unfortunately, we don't know how this is gonna turn out. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of turbulence, and who knows what's gonna happen. Yeah, but we have a lot of cameras set up here. We have some new FPV gear set up, and also, we're putting some new TVs in EcoFlow Pavilion here, where people are gonna be able to watch FPV signals. We got a big event coming up this weekend. We're putting all to the test. We're gonna see if we can come out without a burnt airplane. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, I'm really optimistic about the durability of this. Yeah, we got another round in us. I got a little greedy. <laughs> you notice that? Yeah, I was wondering, you were coming in really low that time. <laughs> I, low just wanted, I just wanted to like go right through like where it licked the flames and it rolled around it. <laughs> it's like the phoenix. All right. It should be good. Yeah, we're golden. You sure you don't want to try it again? I am good, <laughs> sir. I, I flew the big flirt one. <laughs> Deal, okay. Well, uh, do we want some more fire? I think the wind's calm. Let's go for one more round. All right, so we got our monitor up here. We can watch the bike go on. Uh, and there's the mic. It flies good. <laughs> Probably flies better, right? Yep. Yeah, you're 100% right. When you uh, crash it a couple times, it only gets better. Look at that fire. That is a fire. Yeah, unfortunately, it's really windy. 
tree out, so our tornado is not working the greatest. It's kind of blowing it over the hill rather than. I'm still feeling it from here, though. It's a big fire. <laughs> friends that was a blast uh flying through flames a lot of fun very hot dangerous don't do it at home don't do it at home but i hope we got some really awesome slow-mos here and also the race flirt and the millennium flirt we haven't decided which way we're going to name it it's officially out as a kit for you guys to be able to build feel free to support us through the store get your own these things are fast and they're nimble but boy are they fun yeah make sure you like and subscribe we'll see you next time see you next time